هذا هو اليوم الذي صنعه الرب فلنفرح ولنتهلل به المسيح قام من بين الأموات وواطئ الموت بالموت ووهب الحياة للذين في القبور المسيح قام من بين الأموات وواطئ الموت بالموت ووهب الحياة للذين في القبور Christos anesti ebne kron thanaton, thanaton batisas, keti sentith nimas izoif karisa menos. Hello to all the YouTubers out there. I think it's May 13th, 2012. Uh, I'm not too sure what day is. Uh, I seem to remember yesterday was 2000, oh, it was uh, May 12th. So if I'm right, I'm right. If not, kind of, I'm off of my days a little bit, so. Anyways, it's time for Comma Tex. Uh, the, the weekend has been was, didn't get to do as much video editing as I'd like. I got a lot done, actually, but I didn't do as much as I would like. So a lot of the news work is being put off until today, uh, where I get up, uh, I figured out a new way of, uh, of recording the news so that I can go uh, do what we call a two-camera process. That way I can go back and forth between graphics and um, uh, sort of the analysis the way you have on the news desk. So I have a way of doing that now. And uh, so I'm going to be putting all these different things together. Uh, so I've learned how to sort of do a separate audio track. Normally what I do is I just take the audio of the video and, and fix up the audio within the video and not split the track from the, uh, the not split the audio track from the video track. Now uh, I've had practice doing that and I seem to be able to do it pretty successfully in terms of uh, matching the uh, matching the audio with you, syncing the audio with the video. So the next goal is to create a more uh, uh, sort of, a, I guess you would call it an interactive environment where uh, rather than just being one camera and one shot, things are going to be more interconnected. Uh, but as I said, I spent most of the weekend, though, and this is where, where what's sort of slowing things down, is that my mom had a, uh, went, in, went in for hip surgery, and they discharged, discharged her early. Uh, uh, what's happening is that a lot of beds now are uh, they're trying to move patients out as quickly as possible. Uh, from the hospital, so they don't necessarily have a lot of, of the access to health care that they did before because things have become so expensive. This is, and just to let you know, we're up in Canada here for this. This is what's happening up in Canada. Uh, but I'm an MD. Uh, my background is in medical research. That's particularly where it is in organic chemistry inside the human body. So I've been spending a lot of time with my mother, uh, making sure that uh, she's eating properly, you know, basically doing this, the, the standard... Uh, uh, physician routine, uh, making sure that uh, she continues her convalescence outside the hospital, just as if she was inside the hospital with uh, with a doctor taking care of her. So that's sort of the way I've approached it, and so I've been spending a lot of my time there. And I'm just today, uh, on Tuesday, getting my uh, my uh, schedule, my video shooting schedule, back to somewhat of a, a normalcy. What's, what's happening now is I'm becoming more efficient at this. So even though I'm coming, just coming back, I'm able to do more and push ahead still. So that's a positive, but I still have a lot more work that has to be done. Uh, today is going to be a day of fixing up, cleaning up, adjusting, uh, and then adding some more institutes into the mix of the, again. So anyways, I'll leave you with this. Uh, so long. I'll see you guys later on the YouTube. And, uh, take it easy. Alright, bye. Free speech rules here at Democratic Earth.